Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Project S3. I'm saying it like that because somebody said I don't say the word project properly. There you go. So today's plans have changed slightly for two reasons. Number one is because of what you can see on screen now. And the other reason is the weather. It's pretty horrible out there. So I was planning to take the car out of the garage and drive it out of the garage for the first time to make sure that everything's okay with the gearbox. But the weather has stopped play in terms of achieving that. So instead, there's a few jobs that I need to do. One of them is I need to take a look at the electrical issues or the um, codes within the car. So we're gonna hook up VCDS to the vehicle and then we're gonna take a look and see what some of the issues are electrically. I know quite a few of them, but there are gonna be some hidden ones and we need to make a list of those to get the parts that we need to fix those. And the other one is we're gonna fix some of the electrical bits, so headlights, etc. I've got some parts that have arrived and we need to start dressing new headlights. So we'll do that and then we'll see how we progress. Oh, and also I need to put the um, steering rack back on inside of the car because I took that apart and haven't put it back since we put the uh, soft frame back in. So anyway, let's crack on and do those things right now. Okay, we're back at the car again. So let me show you the other, p this pipe here. Okay, so if you if you look at this, this is the, on top of there you got the um, thermostat switch. It's not a switch actually. It's a temperature gauge for the thermostat. This pipe here is a little troublesome little pipe here because it's quite expensive. It's about 60, 70 quid for this pipe. Um, but I can get it for a lot cheaper, a brand new one, which I have. Unfortunately, it's coming from Germany and it's on back order. So until I get this, I can't really progress with the car because I need to bleed the um, water system, the coolant system, and this is quite vital. This here connects to the um, radiator that is not here at the moment. Um, and then this, and then we can bleed the whole system. But because the system is quite complex, to bleed it, and you'll see this in the next week or so, it's quite complex. So I wanted to take the car outside of the garage today, but you can probably hear the rain beating against it without having a bonnet. Well, actually, I've got a bonnet. We'll come to that in a second. Um, you know, and without having the system bled, I, I really don't want to start the car for more than a few seconds because there's absolutely no way that I want to cause any damage to this engine. So until we got that pipe, that's gonna slow us down a little bit. So we're gonna do some other things today um, in the meantime. So what's arrived since last week? Well, we've got our condenser. That's now arrived. That's a brand new condenser. Our bonnet. Now the bonnet is a little bittersweet because it's absolutely perfect. It's got a little, a few little uh, stone chips up here and there's a teeny little crease that I've just noticed, but it's so insignificant that you can probably can't tell it. But the biggest issue with this bonnet, and I checked with the guy before he sent it, he said it's definitely white, it's a different shade of white. So, not sure if you can pick it up in the camera there, but this is kind of like a bluey white, and then here, this is a Ibis white. They call it an Audi land, so an Ibis white, this is kind of like a bluey white. So it's a real shame, but I'm gonna have to get the whole thing resprayed, but I'm not so precious about that. We will get it done because it was gonna get painted any anyway because of these stone chips. So to have the whole bon bonnet done properly is not a bad thing. So here's my new bonnet. We're gonna put that somewhere nice and safe. Um, in the meantime, I need to crack on and do a couple of jobs underneath the car. Um, and then I need to put that side together so the dry shafts in but the um, wishbone underneath that needs to be connected and then we need to start doing some stuff with these headlights so that's uh, my broken headlight there right so let's crack on and do that oh and I need to change this fuse box but well, we're not going to do that today but there's a little tab here and it tucks into a little hole that little hole there so without without that this is quite loose. 
it won't it won't stay in place even though we've got the two bolts there it just won't stay in place so we need to sort that out as well so lots of little jobs that need to be done before we are ready to drive so uh, let's crack on and, and get those little jobs done okay so we're inside the car job number one is to get the steering rack back in here's the end of the steering rack we need to get it into that pin over there so um, fairly straightforward there's a little notch on that pin and then this only goes in one way so underneath here you'll see a notch a notch you, well, you can't really see it but under there there's a notch once that goes in we then get this screw and then tighten it up and that's it simple um, but very important because without that we ain't steering this car nowhere so let's get that put on and then we can move on to the next job which it will be the we'll run VCDS and see what clothes you got on the car Okay, so we're in the car now after putting some bits together and what I've done I've adjusted the exhaust pipe on the car um, It was slightly blowing um, but we fixed that now so it's nice and quiet and starts up still So as you can see there lots of stuff on the dashboard So we're gonna see what faults we've got registered in the car uh, in VCS. So I've got VCS here and um, It's gonna tell us what we need to be repairing i've got a good idea but it's always good to get a far rundown so let's connect the um, car and then we can see the list of issues that we've got to fix okay so first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a scan so we're going to scan for all the things that are wrong so um, let's do a automatic search first. And let's see what it finds. So this bit will take a little bit. Okay, so we have our errors and as we can see, there are quite a few here. So we've got an engine malfunction one. Um, we have uh, ABS brakes, auto, HVAC status, ooh, park steer, airbag malfunction, instrument status, CAN bus, steering assist, headlights, information status so the engine one these are the codes so um there's quite a few here but do you know what i'm not really worried Be and here it is it's saying coolant fan circuit oh, simple there we go oxygen lambda sensor signal too low okay i think i know what that is as well coolant temperature sensor and radiator oil pressure switch yep that's not connected up so there's nothing in here that's really causing me any any concern really um what i'm going to do i'm actually going to rather than me run through this with you here what i'm going to do i'm, going to, I'm just going to copy all of these onto a spreadsheet and in that way i can just go through these one by one you'll see me do most of these because a lot of these are just simple but what you tend to find with this um, and I'll put a little link up above for the um, SIEC, we had a similar thing. You'll see that the um, when you fix a, a bunch of codes on the car, that you actually end up fixing about four or five. So you fix one thing and it fixes about four or five things at the same time. But most of these codes here that I'm seeing, these are, are to do with the fact that they, they're not connected. So 
nothing out of the usual there if you remember on the sear the scary one that we had was the um, dpf filter um uh, it was uh, sh showing that it was partially filled and we had to clean it out otherwise it was going to be around seven or eight hundred pound for a replacement which was a scary scary cost and it's not something that you can get second hand either you've got to buy them new but we don't have anything like that because this isn't a diesel so i'm okay with that and that's great we can um move on now okay so what i want to do i want to try and get the wheels on this car so that we can um get the car in a position to have its first sort of drive well i say drive we're gonna take it out of the garage so um we've got one of the tire rods on this this side of the car is all done i just need to tighten up the bolts on the wishbone on the other side and then stick the wheels on the car and also put this uh, sway bar back into place on the other side and we'll be ready to stick the wheels on so let's um let's do that now Okay, so we've got the wheels back onto the car, so we are very, very close for that first little drive into the driveway. We've just got to wait for that part to arrive, that water part, this little bad boy here. So as soon as that arrives, we can then fill the car with water or coolant and then get it ready for getting it out of the garage and we can start doing the other stuff so that's going to be it for this week hope you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to uh about here subscribe subscribe share and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified as soon as we release a new vlog so we will see you on thursday have a good week